In this video, I am going to talk about the radio sonde. What is this device and what is it used for? So, let's begin. Hi, we all know weather plays important role in our daily life. It is weather and climate which determines how we stay warm or cold. Today, we can also know how will be the tomorrow's weather, such as temperature, humidity, will it rain tomorrow or not, or how will be the humidity percentage. These all questions are answered by weather department or from weather station's data. Because of the technology, it is possible to measure weather parameters. The prime focus for today's video is about radio sound. Radio sondes are the devices which are carried to the atmosphere using latex balloon to measure the temperature variation, humidity, wind dispute, etc. These data are kept in consideration for the prediction of weather. These are basic parameters. Other different parameters are also taken under consideration for the better accuracy. But manipulating more data is quite tedious job. Every country uses this kind of devices. The government of Nepal uses GRA DFM09 radio sonde device for the measurement of weather parameters. So let's dig into GROP DFM09. It is an ultra low power device. It has CBS device, humidity and temperature sensors. This operates on the range of 400 to 406 megahertz and works under FSK technique for modulation according to its data set. Two AA battery powers this device. This battery are not rechargeable. For now, let's see how we can detect and decode the device signals. RTL STL may play a vital role for this purpose, any STR should work just fine. What is STR? Let's not focus on that. It is an hardware device which receives RF signal. Comment down if you need a video regarding STR devices. To detect and decode the radio sound signal, you gonna need any DSP software. I am using STR SARF, it is a great tool. Also sound monitor to decode the signal. As we can see in the spectrum, my device is transmitting at frequency about 402 MHz. Now we have to pipeline the output sound to mic. So follow the steps and make sure you do it right. Now open the sound monitor. And select the correct model. If everything goes right, you will see this kind of dialog box with data that is being transmitted by the radio sound device. I hope you got some information about the video sound and enjoyed the video. Thank you.